Greece isn't having any trouble attracting visitors. The tourism sector there grew nearly 7% last year, far better than the European average. Greece's tourism minister, Harris Theodharis, is with me. Good to see you, sir. Nice minister, you, you start from a difficult base, of course, having had the crisis. Um, but there are still great economic austerity challenges in Greece, aren't there? Well, there are some. We're getting out of the crisis. Uh, the situation is much, much better. Uh, but tourism is a sector that has actually softened the blow, cushioned uh, the um, economic crisis for Greece. So tourism it was uh, a way out, if you will. Who's your profile for now? Because Greece has always had both the backpacker and the expensive yachter. Yeah. And, you know, the islands and that. So where are you positioning for the future? We because you're not a cheap proposition, Greece. No, it's not a, a cheap, but it's value for money. Oh. So we're not, we're not uh, saying no to, any, to anyone, really. But our product is really becoming more and more... Um, um, has better quality. Our service level is up. Uh, there's been a lot of investment in the previous years. Um, and this uh, shows in the numbers. We have, uh, if you like, single-digit growth in the numbers, number of visitors, but double-digit growth in the um, tourism revenue. And this is good. You have the advantage, of course, of being able to have... Although, although I, and I, I don't mean to denigrate in any way, but the, uh, the austerity measures allowed for a restructuring of the economy. Yes. And that also included the tourism economy, didn't it? Well, it included tourism par excellence. I mean, the, the tourism economy is a, uh, is a flexible economy. Greece is an economy that changed a lot during the crisis. Um, a lot of investment, a lot of uh, money flowed in in the tourism sector. And there's, uh, for good reason, there's return on investment. It's, it's something that we know how to do well. And um, uh, during those years, uh, this, is, this is a much better proposition now. But Greece is also an extremely mature tourism market. Yes. You've been at this for a good 50-odd years. Indeed. So what's new? I mean, I, I realise that's a bit weird, asking you that when you think of the Greek ruins. You, know, <laughs> you can't suddenly dig up a few more Greek ruins. But what's new in terms of your offering? Because but... when I was at WTM today, everybody's talking about holistic lifestyle, wellness, uh, ecotourism, sustainability. Yes, we've, we've got all that and uh, much more. Uh, you can do adventure, you can do diving, you can come for a city break, you can come in the winter. So Greece has a lot to offer. There are many, many propositions that normally you don't associate Greece with. So that's, if you like, the challenge for us to um, allow people to discover the undiscovered Greece. Are you worried about... Because, of course, one of your number... One of your leading countries is the UK. Yes, indeed. In fact, it must be, what, number...? Now it's number one, actually, number one. if, if uh, things go according That's to plan. That's where we're going. <laughs> so it's number one. So the, the, the Brits love going to the Greek islands. Indeed. Uh, by the way, my boss loves going to the Greek islands as well. She, uh, but you, you should love going to the Greek islands I as think well. The last time I tried <laughs> to go to the Greek islands, there was a UK election. Um, but that, <laughs> that's my point. Brexit. Brexit could harm your number one destination. Indeed, that's a possibility, but we're moving from less clarity to more clarity, and that's a good thing. People will be able to know what will happen with Brexit uh, as uh, things unfold, and as we get more clarity, they can uh, plan their lives better, they can plan their vacation better, and we're hoping that this will actually make a difference, not a negative difference, a positive difference. And also, um, despite the fact that we had, um, um, we had Brexit, we had the financial situation, uh, Greece grew in the UK much more than the average. And one assumes that, the, I mean, we know there's going to be no visa requirements. Indeed. That flights will continue between the two destinations. But it... And we're also making uh, sure that um, employees of uh, tourism enterprises in the UK continue operating in Greece with no problem exactly as they, as they did up to now. Where was your first holiday? Do you remember? My first holiday. Your first holiday? My first in Crete. Yes, in I was... In Crete? Yes, yes. My first holiday uh, by myself, you mean, without my, my parents, uh, 17 years <laughs> I think years we'll old. draw a line. <laughs> Good to see you, Minister. Good to Many see you. Many thanks indeed. Thank you.